Thanks for staying with us. And Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. Let's get right to the sage of Southern California. He joins us from Santa Barbara. All right, we got a lot to talk about, but I know you were uh, listening to the Obamacare debate with Austin Goolsby up front, and you say? I love it when you do split screens with Goolsby or, uh, you know, Alan Combs or Juan Williams, and they're always acting quizzical, like on the other side, like, what are you seeing? Guys, it's crap right now. You could fake like it's not crap. It's crap. So stop giving me the ghouls. He's like, well, what is O'Reilly saying? We're saying it's crap. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's pretty. I can't really, in the talking points, I got to get three minutes out of it. I, that would probably I know, be just but it's just seconds. so funny. To, it's so funny that Juan's always going, whoa, 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 come on, it's crap. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> and John Roberts will pass this through again, too. You no, know I don't why? think so. Because he's crap. No, and I don't they think got so. a photo of him in Lederhosen with Henry <laughs> Waxman at a Bieber concert. Sir. So they'll drop that dime on him if he doesn't come through again. No, I disagree with you there, Miller. I think they're going to knock mean, it Bill? down. What do you mean, Bill? What do you mean? Know, things are good right now. It's crap. All right. Now, you went on vacation earlier this summer. Uh, the president's going up to Martha's Vineyard. Um, as, we, uh, as we discussed with Ed Henry, uh, President Obama has taken fewer vacation days than Ronald Reagan or yeah. uh, Bush the Younger. And you say? I say you should take more. Listen, I got enough thing. I got enough problems with uh, Barack Obama. I don't have to start faking him. Uh, you know, it's nothing to do with the fact he's black. Him being black's the last. Th it's the only thing I still like. It's the rest of it that's crap. And you know, as far as taking vacation days, I read that he's taking 141, and Bush took 378. Brother, you still have 230 to take. So you want I don't him to care take about more any time. Of that crap. Take more vacations. <laughs> How about fundraising? You know, when people get on them for the fake stuff, that bugs me. When they say, oh, they spent this on the jet, they all fly in the jet. What's the use of having that creepy job unless you're on the big jet? I would live on the jet. You know, when Bob Bright and Terry <laughs> Semmel ran Warner Brothers, they used to take the jet down to Ventura Boulevard to get Kukuru for lunch. Stay on the jet. <laughs> All right. Uh, last time we did a story about uh, Americans not knowing or caring anything about overseas. Got terror in Southern March. We got crazy Putin. We got the Irans with the nuke. And we sent waters out. Nobody knows anything. Why do you think they don't care? Because people are stupid. Come on, Billy. A lot of kids have been raised in a system where they, th when you say the Middle East, they think you mean Ohio, for God's <laughs> sakes. I mean, they're stupid enough now that they're willing to step up to a mic with Jesse Waters and cop to being stupid. Now, that's really stupid. <laughs> you think they would run, if you're going to explain the Arabs and the Jews to him, you better tell him it's like uh, Biggie and Tupac. They don't get along over issues of respect. Come on, the world's gone nuts. We're in the flume. I'm just looking for that rear middle seat and a plastic poncho to stay dry. All right, so you just basically don't have any confidence in the American electorate to absorb the oh, amount Billy, of information. Oh, Billy, do you? What are we going to pretend that we're smart right now? We're smart, but we're not wise. We don't use common sense anymore. I got a smart like uh, Goolsby sitting there telling me things are good right now. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Um, Tony Dungy, you like him, right? A former NFL coach. Uh, Great Indiana. guy. Yeah. He Nicest said he wouldn't have drafted. Uh, he wouldn't have drafted Michael Sam, the uh, gay football player out of Missouri, because uh, guys like me would make a big deal out of it on cable TV, and he didn't want to be distracted. So that's what Mr. Dungy said, and you reply. Well, I guess in the name of inclusion, now we have to destroy Tony Dungy. Listen, Michael Sam's a seventh-round pick. He probably doesn't make the team, although. You know, quite frankly, I'd put him on the IR because cut down day is going to be crazy. They're going to turn it into a Torquemada passion play if they cut the kid. I think the kid seems to be a bit of a pain. And once again, with the president with black and him with his homosexuality has nothing to do with it. He's been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. He's at ESPN with him on draft day. He was going to do an Oprah show all the while telling me he wants to stay under the radar. Hey, pal, you want to stay under the radar? Stay under the radar. Be gay and under the the radar. Be under the gaydar, but don't play it both ways. Tony right. Dungy's a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. I like him. Uh, and his books are good, too. All right, Miller. We Wait, will Philly, see you. Before we go, yes. before we go, yes. I'm here. I'm gay. I'm le illegal. <laughs> and I'm going to try to cover all these. I'm gay. I'm illegal. Right. And the economy's great. 
But you, I'm a made man. And you're black. That's, you, you know, you're, you're yeah, I'm black. black, too. I forgot that. <laughs> and I'm an older Asian woman, too, on Wednesdays. All right, there you go. And Miller and I'd like to thank everybody in the Dakotas. We'll see you guys this coming Friday in Rapid City. That's just about sold out. Saturday in Fargo at the Civic Auditorium. About 100 tickets for me. Also this fall, we'll see everybody in Boston, Philly, Vegas, West Virginia. Details on PillOReilly.com. On deck, Martha McCallum will report on the continuing violence in Chicago that's killing children. Right back.